Welcome to Tango Meet. Bienvenidos. We are going to work on uh, uh, women's decoration and uh, different variables while playing with the four legs, okay? And uh, different ways to solve it for the men. So this is going to be the main exercise. We're going to show first the part of the woman and then we're going to show how to work in couple. Stretch, lapis, stretch, feet together, stretch, cross, lapis, stretch, cross. Okay? So the goal of this exercise is for men is going to be to anticipate certain different ways to move out while the follower is doing decorations, okay? How to, let's say, mix the feeling of of uh, of being exposed to something you don't expect and still create from what the follower is proposing to us. Well, so far, I'm not showing anything. I'm just standing. Okay, I will show that later. For the followers, the goal of the exercise is going to be to work with two feelings on the legs, and that is to point out the leg in front of you while decorating to surround the movement, to make it, to make that line become a circle, and to all the time find your own center when you finish or start the exercise. So, on the other side, you stretch, find your center, make a circle, find the center. Okay? The same you did to the other side. So, from the sandwich, first you find your center with the feet together, then you stretch, lapis, stretch, and then you find the center, okay? The other side is the same, stretch, find your center, do the lapis, stretch, find your center, okay? So we're going to let you um, do this with Mariana a couple of times. Uh, we will be with the left leg in front, with the right behind. First position, feet together, but only closing the heel, not the point because the feet of the man is in between. Now. We stretch the right leg, not too much in front of the base because there is the base of the man, the legs, almost in a small di diagonal. With the inner part of the foot, we do a circle, and then we stretch again. We go to the first position, the feet together. Now, without opening the left shoulder, we, we close the right knee, and we stretch in the other side of the man, in the other diagonal, the right leg. Now, from here, we go to the center with the cross. We do a circle, if you want, you could bend a little the left leg, the base, stretch again, cross. And this, this is all, yes? With, again, backwards with the right, forwards with the left. Feet together. Stretch the right, circle, heel together, cross without opening the right shoulder, stretch in the other side, cross, circle, stretch, cross. I do with the other face, in this way you see the other circle. First part, heel together, Stretch the right, circle, lapis, stretch, heel together. Now, cross the knees, pass over the man's foot, stretch the right in the other side. Cross, circle, lapis outside, stretch, cross again and go up. Yes, if you bend to do the lapis, when you cross, stretch. Don't up from the hip. And then this is all. Yes? How we start the exercise? From a, a sandwich position. That means side step, feet together, ochos backwards, ocho backwards with the right, and there we find the position. Feet together, lapis, stretch, close, pass over, stretch, cross, lapis, stretch, cross. And this is all. Yes?
Now, let's do it with the partner again. Yes. Can I propose something also to the girls to yes, train? Please. Look, I would like the girls also to train uh, on it later, not for now, okay? Like if it was a never ending decoration. It's very interesting. I, I show it to a couple of, of uh, professional girls and they like this very much and it looks very cool. So let's practice it together. To do it, one. To do it on the other side, stretch, cross. So like if it was a big ocho. So if you see it from the top, from here, it looks like an ocho. Okay, so it will be very nice that in the future, if you have a good partner, okay, and you feel that you start and he waits for you, that you do the whole thing like a, like a, like a whole figure, okay? So it will be very nice, very, very nice. And that also because if you practice it well enough, you can even do it while, while you stand on one leg, like this. One stand on one leg, one, two, sorry, I, I have to remember it, sorry. E. One, like this, two, yes, like that. One, two, one, two. Mariana does it very good, okay? So, well, let's go back to the exercise. Sorry, I started to fly around <laughs> with creativity, but let's limit ourselves to what we are doing now, okay? So we have the sandwich, the man goes backwards, first decoration, pausa, second decoration, pausa. Now I would like to work on two ways to close it for, for men. And one is going to be to catch the timing of the first lapis and to finish it with one step backwards and the follower using the left leg to change the word forwards. And then we walk around here, look. First definition, how we define the first step, taking advantage of the decoration that she proposes. You see? I take the decoration like if she was teasing me and telling me, go there, go this side, go this, don't wait for me. I can move this way, I can move it. I don't need to go all the over, all over the other way. I can go away this way, okay? So it's a very nice way to finish it. So look, okay, this is for many men that tell me in, in, the, in the webinars, they tell me, oh, she starts to decorate and I don't know what to do, la, la, la. You have to get involved into what she's doing, feel it. Ah, she can step there. As she can move that leg on that side, she could also step on that direction, okay? So this is going to be our alternative number one with this, this first half of the exercise. So feet together, you do ho oh, oh, ho, and you lead her to walk, and you come out walking around her, okay? Let's say that the first decoration that she does, you didn't take it as a, as a, way, to, a way out, you take the second one. And she's doing the first one. You watch and you say, hmm, I could be doing something with that. She starts the other one. And what we're going to do is while she crosses, while she crosses, we will transfer her weight on the cross and lead her to change the weight, sorry, lead her to change the weight over the other leg. Okay, so one more time. We are here, she's doing the second part. You see that she stretches and she crosses, stretches and she crosses. And then you use this to transfer her weight and move on the other side. You transfer the weight by recognizing the cross. You recognize the cross. You recognize the cross and you see how you move the, the shoulders of your, of your partner parallel to her waist. Okay? Parallel. You don't move her around her waist. You move them parallel. Parallel. This helps her to transfer her weight and be on a new center. Okay, it's going to be the second, the second alternative for you to play. So, one more time. So we have the sandwich. We have the sandwich and we have the two decorations. We're going to have alternative one for the first decoration. We go back to the sandwich. Now we leave the first decoration be just a decoration and we will play with the second one.
one more time. Let's start now with the second one. And then Then I do the first one. Okay. So we propose you just to play with these two, these two decorations. Remember, it's all the time perceived from the leader as an opportunity to play with different dimensions within one position, okay? So don't take it like, a, like something that you don't have control over. Take it as a, a door that opens new probabilities, new, new possibilities, new, new variables for you, okay? Bye-bye.